Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain why the pivot table calculation type defaults to count and how to fix it. So here in this example, I have a set of source data, which is just some sales transactions, and I've created a pivot table based on that source data. And typically when we add fields to the values area of the pivot table, the calculation type either defaults to count or it defaults to sum. And that is based on what data type is in the field, in the particular field that we're adding to the values area. So in this case here, we can see this product field contains text. So if I was to add the product field here to the values area, that's automatically going to default or create a count of product because we can't sum up text in Excel. So the pivot table is going to count or create a count of this text of the product column. Now we can see here that the quantity field or the quantity column contains numbers. So if I was to add the quantity field to the values area of the pivot table, that's going to automatically sum the quantity because there's numbers in this column right here. And same with the revenue column here, we can see it also contains numbers. So if I was to add the revenue column to the values area, oops, we get count. Now, why is that? Why are we getting count here? We, we're expecting to get some because we have numbers here in the revenue area or the revenue field of the source data. And the reason is this column also contains some blank cells. So we can see there's a blank cell right here. And if we were to click the filter drop down menu and scroll down to the bottom of the list box, we can see that there's blanks in this column as well. So this column contains blanks, and that is why the uh, default calculation type is count in the pivot table instead of sum, because anytime there's blanks in your column, Excel recognizes that as text, and it's gonna automatically default to count instead of sum. And this is true of errors as well. So if you have any errors in your column, uh, I have another table here that just has some errors in it, like this ref error or the NA error, if this column has errors in it, then the uh, pivot table is going to default to count instead of sum as well. So I'm going to go back to my table that has blanks here. And one quick way to fix this is to just replace all the blank cells with zeros. So instead of having blanks in our column here, we want to have zeros instead. And there's a few different ways to do that in Excel. Uh, one quick way is to use the find and replace menu. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the cells here in the column of my table. And I can just hover my mouse over the top half of the header uh, cell there and then left click when it turns into that down arrow and that will select all the column or all the cells in the column and then I can go to the home tab on the ribbon and go to the find and select drop down and click replace keyboard shortcut is control H and here on this menu I want to find all the blanks so I'm just gonna uh, replace this with nothing here I'm just gonna delete everything that's in the find what text box so it's just blank and then we're gonna replace that with zero so just put a zero in the replace with field there and click the replace all button and that'll show us that uh, Excel has made four replacements here so it's replaced our blanks with zeros we can click OK and then close the find and replace and we can see that we now have zeros here instead of those blank cells and we can see that on the filter drop down menu as well we have some zeros here if we scroll down we no longer, ha no longer have any blanks at the bottom so now that we have all that cleaned up, when we add this field to the values area of the pivot table, we'll go ahead and do that. First thing we need to do is refresh the pivot table. So right click refresh or Alt F5 on the keyboard. I'm gonna remove my count of revenue field. And then I'm gonna add the revenue field again to the values area. And now we can see it automatically sums instead of count. And again, that's because every single cell in the revenue column contains a number, it cannot contain text, blanks or errors. They all have to be numbers in this column for that to default to sum in the pivot table. Now my pivot pal add-in has a feature that makes this process a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete some uh, numbers here out of my revenue column to show how this works. I'll just delete those values out of those cells. So now we have blanks again. I'm going to refresh the pivot table here. Right click refresh or alt F5 and I'm going to remove my sum of revenue column. So with pivot pal, if you once you install pivot pal, you'll see the Excel campus tab of the ribbon here and then the pivot pal button is right here and uh, this window will open. This kind of mimics the built in pivot table field list. And down here we have some calculation type options and one of those is auto sum count 
And with PivotPal, it doesn't use those rules that Excel has built into it for blanks. So if your column contains mostly numbers and it does have blanks, like we have here, when you add that column to the values area, uh, PivotPal will automatically sum it instead of count. So I'm gonna select revenue here. I'll just move this over a bit. I'm gonna select rev the revenue field here in the PivotPal window and then click the values button. And that's automatically gonna add the sum of revenue here to my pivot table even though my column, my source data column here does contain blanks. So PivotPal just works around that rule because it can be annoying because we typically want to sum uh, when we have numbers in our field instead of doing that count. So I hope that helps give you a few ways to get around that annoying issue with adding fields to the values area of your pivot table. If you'd like to learn more about PivotPal, I have a link right below this video that you can click on and check out PivotPal as well. Please leave a comment below with any questions and I'll be happy to help answer them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.